Hello everyone, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers, NAODS.com. And normally I call this Q&A Tuesday, but we are going to change the name to Tuesdays with Michelle. Thanks to Janice. She had that great idea. I asked people what we should name that, and she said Tuesdays with Michelle, kind of like Tuesdays with Maury, for those of you who remember. Um, but I thought that was a great idea. So thanks, Janice, for giving me, me that idea. We're just going to do tips and tricks every Tuesday for the digital memory maker. So anybody that does digital scrapbooking or image editing or photography, this would be a great thing for you to, um, to stay tuned with every Tuesday about for five minutes I will give you some tip or trick or if you have any questions you can always email me at info that's I-N-F-O at N-A-O-D-S dot com and I'll try to get to your um, answer and anyway we have one from Michelle Krawczyk and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right but she's from Wisconsin and she asked me how do I do rounded corners and make rounded mats so let's go ahead and jump right in and I will give you a quick quick overview and then I'll also tell you where you can find a more detailed um, instruction video instruction inside the membership area so basically there's two different ways that you can create this layout there's one where you can pull the photos in and have rounded corners or there's one where you can make a mat out of it so let me go ahead and show you here so for instance let's just pull up some of these deals here this is the one let me turn some of these layers on and off if I can find them there we go this is the one where we brought in the photos and we did rounded corners for each individual um, person each individual cousin okay so these are all cousins so you'll see that these are rounded corners here this is not a mat but this one here if you notice this is more of a mat way approaching of approaching it so let me show you really quickly how you can do either one of them I'm just gonna close out of both of them and I'm just gonna go to file and open and let's go back to that let's see if I can find the folder that I created these in here we go so let's just bring this in and it, let's say we wanted to make a mat out of this. Well, I go into great detail inside the membership area how I created this, but let's just go over to get our rectangle marquee tool. And let's just say I want to make a big mat right about here. And I wanted to make rounded corners with that. Right now, we've got really hard edges. Let me zoom in here. I don't have a feather on it or anything like that. I've just got the regular rectangle marquee tool so if you push M on your keyboard it will jump to it as well then you can go into select modify and we can smooth out those corners okay so we're gonna go ahead and smooth and let's just go with maybe I don't know 35 and click on OK now you'll see a nice little rounded corner here now if you wanted it to be more rounded you would go higher than 35 and if you wanted to go less rounded you can go less than 35 so if I still wanted to go back in there and go select modify and smooth maybe I go another 35 and it'll pull it in a little bit more okay I'm gonna double click on the um, hands tool to bring me back that's still not rounded enough so let's just go in there and I can even add maybe 50 okay it's kind of a guessing game at first but once you know what you need then you can go ahead and start working from there then I can hit the delete key now this is not on a um, transparent background so this might be a little bit, bit different than what um, you should work with right now I believe I've got this on a let's see here let's duplicate this layer let me let me go back here let me go command command Z and I'm gonna duplicate the layer now just in case you're working on a different type of a background right now this does not allow a transparency so it's kinda of good that I messed up a little bit because you might get a background that does not allow a transparency so what you do is I can make a copy of that background so I just right clicked and duplicated that layer now I'm on this top layer and there's many many ways you can do this because um, 
usually there's three or four different ways you can do this but I'm just going to show you this way you can delete it now if I turn this off see this background here now this indicates that it, there is a transparent background okay now I remember I go into great detail with the members only class inside the membership area but this is just a quick right review so now I've got that transparency so now if I wanted to bring this piece of paper somewhere else or even if I would just wanted to cut this part out you see what I'm saying there if I just wanted to take that piece and move it somewhere else. I could use that as like a frame. Okay, I could take this, let me go back up there and take my move tool and do it, and then now I have this little frame like with that rounded edge. Okay, now what happens if you wanted to do it the other way? So I'm just going to trash this one, just throw it in the trash. And let's just undeselect here. What if we wanted to go over here and bring in one of these photos with a rounded corner? All I need to do is take my rectangle marquee tool and I go in and I select with no feather. And then I can go back into select, modify, smooth. And let's just do a big smooth. Let's go 75 at this point, 75 pixels. Okay, and it's pretty nice and smooth. Then I can take that and I can move it. Oops, I gotta get my move tool though. Go back over to get your move tool. I always forget about that. Drag it and drop it to the other page. So what I did was I drag it and drop it to this page here, which is uh, the background. And now if I move in and really close, then I've got my rounded corners. And I can go ahead and put effects on there. So if I go into my effects, my styles, maybe I wanna do a bevel, um, this type of bevel or maybe I don't even want a bevel maybe I just want a drop shadow or something so I can go in my drop shadows bring in a little drop shadow and now I've got a rounded cornered photo so hopefully Michelle that answers your question also we are having a what's new to version 12 class on Tuesday evening it should be tonight as I'm taping this a day or two early but it's tonight Tuesday the 8th please join us for that if you are a member all you need to do is go to our website at naods.com click on members only tab and that will get you to our upcoming members only class we have one with uh, boop with boop design she's going to be showing you how to do actions on Wednesday October 23rd and then I'm going to have Photoshop elements 101 class which is October the 28th we will slowly start going into version 12 let me tell you there's really not a huge change so you can always just keep 11 and not even upgrade if you want to and still these classes will be very very beneficial to you like I said we do have have a more in-depth version of what I just covered inside the membership area let me show you where that is if you are interested in being a member um, we do have some great specials right now but I'm just going to show you you just scroll down here and let's scroll down here to the very bottom area and you'll notice here the icon here this is where you can find out how to create that whole entire layout that I was um, doing in um, Photoshop elements okay so you just click on this and it'll step you through a video of how to create that but also I wanted to let you know most of you already know this we're converting our videos so that they're available on iPads uh, Kindles all of those devices so you can have it sitting next to your computer while you're working on your computer which is really kinda cool but um, these right here all you do is you click on the play video and they'll start playing hello everyone this is Michelle Stelling from the if National you want it to be larger, you just click on this And this is a members here. only class. We are going to focus on masking. Or if you wanted to stop it, you can click on the pause button. So all of these videos are being converted. And we also have all the Q&A Tuesdays from our past few weeks inside the members only area. They're archived there. So thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you all in tonight's class. Again, if you are interested in becoming a member, all you need to do is go to naods.com and then forward slash secret. Okay, we are having a special, usually we have it 
couple times a month for a couple days. And we have an annual membership right now with seven bonuses. Just go in there, take a look at it. If you sign up today, you can join us for our class tonight and the classes that we're having in the future. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Bye-bye.